So I hope everyone is having a happy hump day. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I know the weather, with the weather changing, if y'all are like me, you might have a little bit of a cold, hence my no makeup today. <laughs> but nothing can hold down my hypeness for the pre-launch this Friday. I am so excited. Um, and that is what we are going to kind of prep you for this week is how to talk to your audience, um, what verbiage to use, and how to do it in a way that is comfortable for you and that will be received well um, from your audience. So as we all know, the pre-launch is this Friday. And so that means that you can pre-sale to any and everyone. Um, you can process their order and then their shipment will go out on Black Friday. Um, <clears throat> and so for me, and I'm just speaking solely from what's worked for me over the, like my entire career of sales, has always been my social media and then just honest conversations with my friends and my family. Um, and, and really just personal experience with the product rather than being like, oh my gosh, I'm selling this new thing. You guys all should buy it. Like, I'm always more so like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm in love with this product. These are all the wonderful things it does. I'm like, it's very, very, very rare that you'll ever hear me say like, I'm selling this. It's always like, inbox me if you want to find out how you can get this. You know what I mean? Something that like creates the, um, I can't think of the word, but like creates the hypeness, but then also creates that like personal conversation because you want to ha just have a conversation, like, natural conversation with each person that you are going to sell to. So that's the reason why I'm never like, I'm selling this because I want them to inbox me. I want them to text me and I want them to ask me like, what are you doing? What is this? Like, oh my gosh, those before and afters look crazy. Like, how can I get that? You know what I mean? Rather than like, oh. I want to support you because you're like all 50,000 of my friends that are all doing direct sales and I'm never going to use it. You know what I mean? There's so I feel like there's, especially in this day and age, there's so many people that are selling things. Um, and it's awkwardly too. And you don't want to come off like that. Um, so how can you share your experience in a natural way? Um, I'm all about throwing out feelers, saying things like, who wants long hair? Or like, who's ever worn extensions? And you guys see this on my page all the time. Or like, who's trying to grow out their hair? Who wishes their hair was longer? Um, when I posted who wishes their hair would grow, like, there was so many people that commented back. And that was literally like a week or two ago. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back once the pre-launch happens, I'm going to go through all those people and I'm going to inbox them and be like, hey girl, so I saw you coming in on my post and let me tell you what about what has worked for me because I just cut my hair short, if that makes sense. Um, other things are having good intentions and building trust and living in that. So um, each and every one of you ladies like I have vibed with and I vibed with because you're a good person and that makes me confident and you should be confident in that. And because a lot of you, I don't know personally, um, that tells me that your page and the way that you present yourself online and your presence is one of good vibes. And you should live in that and kind of know that like when you're talking to um, you're following your friends, your family, whoever it is that follows you on your social channels. You most likely nine times out of 10 already have that trust built. So don't feel weird having a conversation of like, like, don't feel crazy being like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put who wants long hair that I'm so scared to inbox them. You know what I mean? Because if they're on your page, and they're actively commenting on your social media, it's because you're they're engaged in what you're doing already. Um, and staying, staying like, like true to what you believe in, in a sense of like, just don't get salesy. Like it's so hard, especially when you're starting out in sales, um, to not sound salesy. And that's why a lot of times if any of you text me and you're like, what should I say? 
I won't script for you because I've been in that position and I've had someone script for me and it was so freaking awkward, like so awkward. Like you don't want to feel awkward. You want to feel good when you're posting things and you want them to come from you in like your style, how you naturally talk, like don't like read any online scripts or like how to sell, like literally just talk naturally. Um, and so like things like going live when you um, receive your free leads or going live like once a week, installing them and like getting ready or like taking them out, just doing videos that show like, girl, if I could put these in, you could put these in or like, look how fab I feel. Look how real these look like all those types of things that are just natural and like super fun are super, super, super um, awesome and will strum up business. So the fun thing about sales and soft selling is that a lot of times you don't even realize you're doing it and then you get inboxes or comments and you're like, oh crap. And that's kind of the um, zone you want to stay in is suggestive selling, like not saying like you need this, but saying like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Like, I don't know how I ever lived without these things like that. So then they make people want them and they make them almost like come to you instead of you like badgering them, if that makes sense. Um, another thing you want to kind of stay away from um, is like hard selling, like making people feel uncomfortable. Um, honestly, like if someone, if, mm, how can I say this? Like, I've just, have any of you ever been in a situation to have someone like, like really try to force you to, but like, I just don't feel like you should, hold on one second. You good, man? Sorry, man. <clears throat> yeah. I just don't feel like you should. Um, hold on two seconds. Sorry, guys. People, a few of you ladies have not gotten the link, and I am having pop ups of others that need the link. Um, but you just, long story short, you don't want to make someone feel uncomfortable um, when having the conversation because people can see right through that. And s sometimes it's not about um, the fact that they want it or they don't want it. Sometimes maybe they don't have the money right now, but that's when you should put someone on your follow-up list and go back because you want to make sure that it is the right timing and that they feel good about buying them and that they don't feel like that guilty feeling of like, Ooh, should I have bought these or shouldn't I? Um, and it's okay. It's okay if someone says, oh my gosh, I want them, but I can't do it right now. Um, like I said, I always have a list and it's my, like I have a top 50 of um, 50 people that I know would like love them. I reach out, I chat with them about it. And the ones that aren't like into it at the moment, I put them on a later list and I follow up with them periodically until it's the time for them. Um, so another thing is listening to people's needs and providing a solution. Um, so when you do see people post on their, on your timeline saying like, Oh my gosh, who knows how to do this? Look, I want to color my hair. I want to get an ombre, I want to get highlights. Those are all problems that you can solve with the extensions. Um, so that's when you can hop in and be like, hey girl, I got something even better for you. Like these are no damage and they're going to provide what you want and you can pull them out as you want. You know what I mean? Or like that person that posts and they're like always posting these really fun like pastel or like vibrant colored pictures, but they've never gone that color. Like those are totally the people that you should hit up because nine times out of 10, they really want those colors. They're just like either in a professional setting where they can't do it or they're too scared to do it. Um, and those are, those are great people to reach out to. 
and tell them about, you know, how they can add in the color using the freelies, how they could do custom colors using the freelies, all of those fun things. Um, another thing that will help you in pre-launch is posting relevant reasons to buy freely. Um, so you will be getting a infographic that we created for you that kind of go over different reasons, like relevant reasons to buy freely and how to choose your freelies, how to choose the colors, all of those, um, all of those types of things. But to go over it quickly, um, some different reasons to buy freelies are special occasions. So I know a few of you are hairstylists. Um, or if you're not a hairstylist, you probably know someone who is getting married either with this winter or next year. It's never too early to tell them about the freelies because nine times out of 10, if you're getting married or you have a big special occasion coming up, like it's very rare I have a client that doesn't pull out some hair extensions or want hair extensions. So different holiday looks, um, wedding, Christmas, New Year's Eve, all of these types of things are really fun times that people can wear their freelies. And even like posting about it, like, oh my gosh, like last New Year's Eve, my hair was so fly, but I can't wait for this New Year's Eve because I have my freelies and my hair is about to be turned up a notch. Um, other reasons are obviously adding more length adding more volume or adding color. So those are all fun things to kind of like softly speak about through your posts. Um, even like finding articles, I'm like really, really geeky and I love stuff that is like, I love really good written articles. So like even finding articles and posting them about like, um, <clears throat> about, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, about like, how like clipping extensions are like a really good type of extension that won't damage your hair um or like fun different like pinterest styles where the girls have like before and afters of like adding volume to their hair different front like those um really like in like trendy braided styles like posting pictures of them like omg can't wait to put this in my hair like just different things that like Anytime you see anything trendy on anyone's social media, you're drawn to it. And so by matching that with promoting freely at the same time, I think is a really natural way that you can draw the attention of your following. And then whenever anyone like um, comments on those types of pictures, that's when you should like inbox them and be like, hey girl, OMG, what do you think of that style? Like things of that nature. Um, another thing I wanted to chat about is our custom color freelies. Um, so we offer custom color to any, like for any hair color that they don't, that we don't provide. Um, it's $75 added on to what they pay for whatever set they get. Um, but if you are a hairstylist, I do suggest offering that as an add on to your clients. So selling them either the um, cooler blonde or the warmer blonde based upon what color that they want and then custom coloring them for them and keeping that profit for yourself. So just know that is an option and that's, um, that's an easy way for you to make some extra cash as well. Um, and ja, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be saying about the coupon code. Um, well, I can announce them if you need some help. So, um, we will, with our launch this Friday, um, we will be using coupon codes for both you guys as well, <clears throat> excuse me, as any customers that you refer. So to get the, um, the special for Black Friday, which I don't think we've announced yet, but in addition to, um, getting a free gift from us, which is a luxurious bag to store your freelies in. Um, we will be offering 10% off to <clears throat> all customers. Um, so that would include your pre-launch customers through uh, Black Friday. And the code for that, which we'll email out, is uh, just freely Friday 10. Um, the code for you guys is free pre 50, but um, we'll 
email those out so that you have all the spelling correct and there's no issues there. Um, was that all you had, Mary? <clears throat> that is all I have. The biggest thing I just want to um, <clears throat> reinstill in you guys is it is so important to just stay natural and just talk to people like you're talking to us or talking to your friends and try to be as least salesy as you can and more suggestive and more like you're just having a conversation like Alex I will call you out for this you're always so hype you can't wait you can't wait to get yours all of that type of stuff you guys should be like posting on your page like oh my gosh um we're launching our extension line I can't wait to get my hands on my pair like because when you're living through that hypeness it's literally like a uh um Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. Like when you sneeze and then someone else sneezes, whatever that word is. Contagious. What's that word, guys? Contagious. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally contagious. Good vibes and hypeness is so contagious. And so if you guys are as hype as I am, just keep posting about it. And that's how you're like, I already have a huge list. And I had a huge list with, before I even wrote a list because I just kept posting about how hype I was. And then people were inboxing me like, oh my gosh, I have clip-ins, but I need a new set or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so by posting like just natural posts of you being hype, but then also like throwing in some fun facts, like any articles or Pinterest styles that you see, all of those types of things are natural ways of engaging your audience that you already have. Um, don't feel like you have to like go out and like scrounge around for clients. I guarantee you like your Facebook friends, your Instagram followers, your family, like how many people, how many people, how many of you beautiful <laughs> ladies have like sisters, cousins, aunts, like, um, completely honest, like women that are like 40, 50, 60, they're perfect for hair extensions they probably won't keep them 20 inches long but they will definitely be all up on to the hair extensions and I can like no I know that for a fact because so many of my clients moms want them like and it's because their hair is thinning so anyone you can think of that has thinning hair or fine hair or that is like that girl that's like, oh my gosh, I'm always trying to stay on trend. They're like extra fab. Like those are your go-tos to create your top 50 list. So my homework for you is to create your top 50 list. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so much easier for you on Friday to start um, reaching out and spreading the word about the pre-launch. And... I kind of want my sister to tell you because I found this like printed out. <laughs> I saw, I found this printed out, <laughs> this printed out list in a binder one day. And I'm like, what, what is this huge list and all these highlights? <laughs> and she like, you are such a nerd. <laughs> I was like, what? She's a sales queen. <laughs> Listen, my sister is like, I'm good at sales. I do our beauty sales, but my sister is so much better at sales than me. She's a, beast like she literally is a beast well, i don't want you so. to make me sound creepy um, <laughs> basically that, that list was because i don't know about you guys but i feel like sometimes you just need that like spark to remember people um and especially when i was like had a side hustle and i was working a full-time job it was really hard for me to think of who like think really <laughs> about what i was doing um, and so I had my go-to people, but then I felt like, oh, like who else do I know? So I printed out my Facebook list. What a huge <laughs> nerd. <laughs> That's a thing. You can download your list um, from your settings on Facebook. Beast mode. And then I just went through and was like, oh yeah, I think like these people would probably like <laughs> what I got to offer. So I'm going to like reach out and check in on them. Um, and it was never like, Hey, I got this. You want this? <laughs> It's like, Hey, what's up? And a natural conversation from there. But just because it is hard to, especially if you like are sitting down, you're like, Oh, these are my, you know, I had one hour a day to work at the time. Like, and you're supposed to just naturally think of people. It didn't happen. So I had to help myself out with, um, a reminder. And actually what we have on the agenda next is some time for us to do just that. 
And we're, we only have about five minutes to do this and we, we wanted to have a little bit more, but I'm gonna tell you the three things I want you guys to be thinking about um, during these five minutes. So grab a pen and paper if you don't have one already, but we want you to think about um, what social media posts you think would resonate with your network. So for the next few days until we're live and even through that, what kind of things do you wanna be posting? What does your network respond to or what's like natural for you really? Um, and then also you can start brain dumping your list of who, you, who you'd wanna reach out to um, or follow up with after you post. And then <clears throat> the third thing to think about is for the people that you wrote down, what's the best way to approach them? Like there's people I talk to more on Facebook, there's people I talk to more via text, and then there's people who like, I'd actually prefer to meet up with you because it's been way too long, so let's grab coffee or a drink or something. So whenever you're jotting down um, people you wanna reach out to, that's a good thing to think about is like how you'll approach them. Um, will it be text, private message, whatever? Um, so I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. I'm going to take us off record actually, then I'm going to do that. And those are the three things to think about for those five minutes. So we're, the Harrison sisters are also doing this because we have our people to reach out to too. So again, what social media posts you might want to make, um, who you want to reach out to and what you want to say. All right. So let's go ahead and start that now. <laughs> 